Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the uh, Property Subcommittee of Staffordshire County Council today, Wednesday, the 4th of May, 2022, in the Oak Buildings County Buildings, uh, Oak Rooms County Buildings, Stafford. Um, first item on the agenda is apologies for absence. Do we have any apologies for absence? Uh, yeah, good afternoon, Chair. Uh, we, we, we've received apologies from Councillor Parry. Thank you very much. I, agenda item number two is declarations of interest. Do we have any declarations of interest in accordance with standing orders? For the record, nobody is indicating. Agenda item number three is minutes of the meeting held on the 6th of April 2022. Uh, can I have your approval of that they are a correct record of that meeting? All those in favour? Yep. I shall sign those off appropriately. Uh, moving on then to agenda item number four, um, Stonnell Community Building proposed transfer. So before we get started uh, on the description of the project, I'd just like to welcome uh, County Councillor David Smith to the meeting. He is the local member um, in which this uh, particular asset sits. Uh, remiss of me also to welcome, not to fail to welcome, uh, Kate Loder, who's the new County Solicitor. Kate, congratulations, you're very welcome. Um, I'm sure you'll find this meeting extremely enlightening. I'm sure you will as well. Good. That was a good answer, Kate. Um, so, um, in order to get us going, Ms. Uh, Councillor Deville, please. Yeah, thank you, Chairman. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, <clears throat> Stonnell Community Building, um, Chairman. The proposal uh, this afternoon is to transfer the land and the buildings to Stonnell Community Centre to aid the continuation and community activities um, and also... Um, to further potential investment in uh, future buildings and future activities. Um, a charity group chairman has been established as Stonnell Community Centre. This charity group wished to take the freehold interest um, and to maintain current activities and indeed to plan and develop further sustainable activities and facilities. Um, before we bring... Um, other offices in. Chairman, may I bring um, Ian Turner in for any further comments um, around this proposal, Ian, please. Mr Turner. Thank you. Um, so just to remind members that um, this, this building was previously leased to the Parish Council um, with an obligation to demolish the old buildings that are on there, so they're end of life. Um, so that, that was the arrangement previously. The Parish Council had requested the transfer to themselves to actually be able to run the building and to invest in it, but um, they changed their minds and didn't want to do that any longer. So um, the uh, existing management committee, um, who very much want to keep the facility and invest in it, um, we had conversations with those through the local member, and um, they have formed a charity uh, organization as Councillor Deville said and uh, would like to take responsibility of the building the proposal is um, that we give them the money that we received from the Parish Council in lieu of demolition so when they ended the lease the Parish Council they gave us 18,000 pounds which was the estimated cost of demolishing the buildings and we propose to pass that with the transfer um, to the community, to the charity organisation. They will then use that money to invest in the existing buildings to keep them going longer or to, uh, to replace them. I'm sure um, Councillor Smith will explain a little bit more about that. So it's a transfer. Um, it will still have restrictions in terms of use, so the building will be um, for community use. And if it ceases to um, be used for community use, then it um, it will be transferred back to us at essentially a pound or peppercorn or you know uh, basically for, for no value um, should it cease to be used for community use in the future that's my summary thank you thank you mr turner uh finance <clears throat> nothing specifically to add in terms of financial implications apart from clearly the foregoing of a potential capital receipt which members might want to consider when making their decision thank you Legal. Uh, thank you, Chairman. Yeah, the undervalued part is covered as well, but the 200k valuation for that seems fine. The only other thought that I had was the £18,000 contribution that the County Council would be making, whether that should be repayable if the community use ceases or isn't kind of commenced on site. 
that was the only consideration on that. We have a preemption to, if the community yep. is, this is on the side, we have a preemption potentially to take the land back. So there's no kind of mention of what's happened to the £18,000. Okay. Uh, we'll think about that in a moment. Um, valuation? Uh, Mr Chairman, I've already provided my figure, valuation figure for the report, so I've no further comments to make. Thank you. Um, so we've heard the, um, the formal contributions. We're now going to mo move to the local member, please. Uh, Councillor Smith, um, I'd like to give you uh, the opportunity to sort of give us a, a sort of some colour to, uh, to the project um, because we've had the bare bones and the local member's input is extremely valuable in these, on these occasions. So uh, over to you, uh, Councillor Smith. Chairman, could I just first say yeah, I'm very sorry that the whole thing got off to a false start um, I, I really don't understand the reasoning for that, and I think that we'll let it all go into history. Um, what is absolutely super is that uh, we now have a charity established to be able to uh, very, very rapidly start to make things happen. And the uh, length of time that we've taken to get here is no reflection on this committee. And I would like to thank this committee on behalf of the charity most sincerely for the tremendous work that you've achieved in um, sorting out the transfer. Um, I'd also like to add to that a special thank you to Ian Turner, who has given us support and uh, assistance far beyond what one would normally expect from uh, an officer uh, in this particular case. And he supported us, assisted us, and aimed us in the right direction to set up the charity and to um, come within the six months that we had to um, establish the basis under which the uh, transfer would take place. Could I just mention, if I could add a little colour to the uh, use of the building. The building is uh, a, a somewhat aged um, Nissen hut, but the existing management committee have done a tremendous job in maintaining it. Um, it's uh, in a very, very um, attractive situation, and it's almost hard to imagine that it's coming to the end of its life as a building. Um, it's um, very, very well used. There is only, yeah, Stonel, just to fill you in, is a very, very yeah, active community. We have a considerable number of um, local groups who do all sorts of things, from the film club to uh, the painting group to uh, the coffee club, which meets 50, 60 strong every week. Um, every group in the village, apart from one, meets in the hut, not in the village hall. And so it has a fairly yeah, significant role to play as far as the future is concerned. Um, the management committee are very, very keen on the prospect of being able to replace the building with uh, something that's got a more permanent life expectancy. Um, we had a bit of a blow last week because um, with things which are happening as far as building costs are concerned, um, we now have um, we, we, we now have um, notice that the cost has gone up from £200,000 to replace the building to uh, between three hundred and fifty and 400000 So uh, our role in raising the funds to be able to look at uh, a replacement building and really make it go and into uh, the end of this century is an even steeper hill to climb. But uh, the community is very active, very enthusiastic, and I'm sure that uh, those of us that drop off the end of the uh, chain uh, there are new people coming in that will take over those roles and will continue to meet the objectives. So finally, may I just say thank you very much to everyone. Um, it's been very, very much appreciated. The you know, final working has gone through so quickly that um, it's almost unbelievable. So thank you all very much indeed. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, thank you, Councillor Smith. We try to only give uh, Mr. Turner praise once a year, so um, it's, um, it'll, be, it'll be two years' worth there, really, so it'll be 2024 before it happens again. But um, thank you very much indeed for your contribution. I I'm very fond of Stonnell. My, my political career started in Stonnell, 
uh, in the village hall as it happens, and um, and here I am now, uh, 20 odd years later. So um, it is very close to my heart um, for those reasons. Um, members of the committee, you've heard um, officers' input and the local members' input. Does anybody have anything, they'd, any questions they'd wish to raise? We did have a query from legal um, about whether or not that, that money um, could be called back in the event that um, the project doesn't proceed in the way envisaged. Um, I'm, to be honest with you, it, it, in, in the grand scheme of things, the value, that value compared to the land value um, is a significant, um, there's a significant difference between the two, so I'm fairly relaxed about that, but I'm not the one who looks after the money. Um, Rob, have you got any comments on that? Um, not specifically. I, th I think it's the same comment I made before. It's about there is a six-figure sum being foregone, uh, and in the overall scheme of the County Council's finances, it's whether that can be uh, deemed to be affordable. Uh, other than that, that the proposal seems very straightforward and quite sensible to my mind. It's the, it's the foregoing of the receipt. There's no specific net cost of continuing, so in that sense, I'm pretty relaxed, but we do have risks and pressures coming up, as you know. So members of the committee, you are being asked to forego a significant receipt, but for community purposes, so this isn't a, uh, this is a clearly important decision. So any comments from members of the committee before I ask Mr. Deville to, uh, Councillor Deville to read out the recommendations? Uh, Councillor Price. Yeah, you, <coughs> excuse me, Chair, you've pretty well covered it, and um, there's obviously a very keen and active uh, community group working out of this building, and that's something that this authority likes to um, endorse and support as well, making sure that people are kept fit and active, and this certainly ticks those boxes. So I'm more than happy to support the local member and the, uh, the, the community group as well with this. Thank you. Yeah, little more to add really, other than I think it's consistent with the aims and objectives of the organisation that, um, that we do allow this um, to proceed. So um, I'm very happy to move to, uh, move to a vote if you are, Chair. Councillor Deville, can you give us the recommendations? Please? Thank you, Chairman. Just before I make the recommendation, I think that uh, Mr. Salmon makes a, a very valid point, Chairman. Um, and um, future financial challenges are um, extremely apparent for this County Council, and um, I think it's right, Rob, that we um, consider that. Um, however, I think in this instance, as Mr. Price and Mr. White said, Chairman, I think the community benefits of this facility and the fact that we're working in partnership together um, on this really vital local facility um, sort of outweigh, at the moment, the thought about the possibility of the capital receipt. But Mr. Salmon's point was certainly well received, Chairman. Um, <clears throat> Chairman, I have four recommendations, please, this afternoon that the subcommittee firstly approves the freehold transfer of the property known as Stonnell Community Building to the registered charity Stonnell Community Centre for £1. Two, that the council provides a capital payment of £18,324 to the charity, which is the money received from the parish council in lieu of the demolition obligation. Thirdly, Chairman, that the transfer includes restriction on use to community activities and that the County Council retains a right of preemption or call option for one pound should community activities not continue. And finally, <clears throat> Chairman, any and all actions to implement the decision to be delegated to the Assistant Director for Commercial and Assets, who is Ian Turner, Chairman. They're the four, they're the four recommendations this afternoon. Thank you. Um, to um, you've heard the recommendations. All those in favour? Uh, for the record, that is unanimous. Uh, Councillor Smith, that this is a significant undervalue to the local authority, so um, we look forward to it. It's continuing to go from strength to strength um, as a community facility. Thank you very much, Chairman. Thank you, colleagues. Uh, we shall go and celebrate. That, to the best of my knowledge, uh, ladies and gentlemen, just checking before I make yet another mistake, Zach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there are no reports in exempt, as best I can see. There's nothing come forward. Uh, in that case, that concludes the meeting. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>